Hi friends and welcome. On today's adventure, we're gonna join one of our young people, Kyle Cruzan, on what should be, for any 12 year old, I think quite a day. We're gonna go out wild turkey hunting in the morning and if that works out, we're gonna change our clothes back at the truck and jump in the boat with one of our good friends and pro staffers, Bill Funk, and try to catch some of those ugly steelhead that come up the Grand River every year. The springtime they start running. Oh, if you're new, ugly steelhead in our definition are the big channel catfish that work their way up the Grand River and we're gonna fish them hole to hole just like you do steelhead fishing in the river. Now I have to tell you before we do any of that, I do wanna talk to you just for a moment about Camp Wilderness. It's absolutely, in my opinion, the very finest place for young people to go and get hunter safety education. Hey, I'm your host, Kyle Randall. This is my Wilderness Journal and we're going camping and hunting and fishing right now. Camp Wilderness is a weekend summer camp style operation for boys and girls ages 10 to 16. And after getting signed in and outfitted and getting their cabins assigned, they're broken up into smaller groups where they receive what I consider to be some of the finest hunter safety and bow hunter safety instruction from some of the finest certified instructors that are available today. They get to shoot every kind of weapon there is. They get to shoot their bows at every kind of target there is. In short, they learn how to safely get started in a lifetime in the outdoors. The awesome volunteers and instructors out at Camp Wilderness do such a tremendous job of reaching and involving the young people. They learn all of the things they're going to need to know to get started anyway. They learn tree stand safety and shot placement and blood trailing and recovery. It's not just a test in some gymnasium somewhere. They get to shoot their bows. They get to learn from people who know what they're talking about, how to safely participate and get started in the out of doors. So hopefully they can have a lifetime of enjoyment. Kyle Jr. is actually a graduate of Camp Wilderness as all of our grandchildren are. And I have to tell you, every one of them truly enjoyed the experience. Now let's take Kyle Jr. out as promised. We're going to head to the spring turkey woods and try to bag us a tom in time to then jump in a boat and do some fishing. It's a lot for one day, but I have to tell you right now, there's no way there's going to be any time for him to get bored. <laughs> Just at first light, we could hear a couple of birds gobbling on the roost. And then we heard him fly down. I whispered to Kyle, get ready. Somewhere back in there we could hear a hen calling and you knew there had to be some times with her somewhere. And then we saw one. Only it was skirting through the brush going around behind us. I can see him strutting over there, right behind that little tree. Can you see him? No. They're just down at the end of that. There's another one. There's. A, there sounds like there's a group of young birds and one or two big ones. They're not 100 yards. I can hear a hen. We could definitely hear more than we could see. And then it occurred to me, some of what we were hearing was actually behind us. Ever so carefully, I peeked out and... They're behind us. Easy, easy, easy. Just slowly turn around. We're going to have to turn around. Just go ahead. Careful. Your gun's unsafe, right? Yes. I don't know how we're going to get out the bat. They're right behind us. Shh. I had set the decoys back a little bit in hopes of drawing the birds out of the woods out in front of us, and it had, except for they'd come out and went around behind the blind and were headed for the decoys. Now Kyle was going to have to turn around completely in the blind and then hopefully get a shot out of the back window without getting caught. They're right at the deck. I'm gonna open this back window when I do. You be ready, cause they're gonna see me. You just be ready. You put the gun out, pick a good one, get on his head. No. We had a plan. 
Now it was up to Kyle. Got him. You got him, buddy. You got him, brother. Nice shot. I can't believe we got him. <laughs> He's watching. I can't believe we got away with that. They heard, they saw us, me open that window. You hear him putting? Mm -hmm. yeah, we didn't have no time. That was so cool. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Man, nice job. Proud of you. That was tough. Little dance in the blind to round, shoot out the back door. Mm -hmm. Nice bird, too. He's not a real long beard. Looks like maybe a Jake, but you know what? I think you're in for a surprise when you get to that bird. Yeah. Did you see what I saw? Yeah. What'd you Probably. see? A double beard? I think so. <laughs> you wanna go grab him? He ain't going to her, but we can go get him. Yeah. All right. Just that quick, we had managed to turn the improbable into a success. Now it was time for Kyle to collect his prize. I'm pretty sure he's all done. He ain't just taking a nap. Get your tag out. You got your tag? Yep. All right, get it on him. You got a zip strip? No. I'll get you one. You got a knife? No, sir. <laughs> Here. Put it off. Okay. Kyle got to the business of punching out and hanging his tag on his bird. And I think it was just about then when it occurred to him, hey, a little bit of fry bread, and we got all we need for another great bowl of wild turkey chili. Nice job. Now it's yours. <laughs> Spread him out. Show me that. I'm sure that bird's got a little double corkscrew beard. Did you see that? Yeah. Turn him over. Let's see. There you are. Double bearder. Yep. May not be a 10-incher, but it's two fours. That makes eight, right? Yep. <laughs> On the last day, yep. our last chance anyway for you. Awesome bird, man. Nice job. Thank you. you happy with that? Yep. Uh, yeah, I know. You're kind of missing school. Yep. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, that's like I told your cousin, no? This is still going to school. It's just a different school. You know, out here we're studying wildlife management, obviously biology, natural history, even chemistry. Chemistry? Well, yeah. Most people don't realize this, but if you take wild turkey, and you sprinkle a little bit of gunpowder on it, by a chemical reaction, you get food. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations, Kyle, you did a great job. And that was quite a dance, getting around in that blind without getting caught. That's the very thing that I'm talking about, friends. You wanna know your young person is handling that weapon safely, not just hope they are. He did a great job, we got a great bird and we got it done early enough. We actually had time to run to the truck, change our clothes, and go meet our buddy Bill and get in his boat to try and catch some of them ugly steelhead. Really? Yes, sir. This is uh, Kyle's most awesome adventure, part dux. Yeah, part two. That's it. We got turkey. Nine o'clock, we're on the way to fish already. Right, so. Can't beat that. I think, you know, he already got a turkey, so yep. he should, uh, I don't know, just take a nap. I'll take a nap. No, you're going to watch us catch fish. <laughs> no. Then you're going to clean them and cook them, and then we'll eat them. Yeah. Okay. You all right with that? Yep. After Good. deciding the appropriate division of labor, cool. we made a short run, and then it was time to get fishing. Like there's water. Good place to find fish. Yeah. Bill split us into the first spot, and we got some cut bait rigged and deployed. We were catfish ready. Coming up and down, so I'm like... We're ready. Five to seven minutes, so it'll take. Five to seven, that's the prescribed length. That's 920, so we'll see. Friends, this type of fishing takes some ability to read the water to get your boat into the right position to fish those holes without spooking them. But I will say, when you get it right, it usually doesn't take very long to find out. I don't know about the five to seven minute thing, but it oftentimes happens pretty quick. Got him? I, I seen so. him hit it. Well, Bill was half right. We'd had our first hit in less than five minutes. Told you, five to seven. Swing and a miss, strike one. Yep. And then just after Bill got that rod reset. Look. Yeah, there might be some to that five to seven minute rule. Got him. <laughs> Fish on. Fish on. Here, come here, Junior. 
This ought to straighten your line. <laughs> and just that quick, we'd hooked our first fish. Now it was up to Kyle again. Could he handle this much fish and this much current? No, we're going to have a mess. I'm clearing it. Too late. Too late? Honestly, I didn't know how he'd handle that fish. But I was pretty certain that he was going to have a lot of fun finding out. Got him. Awesome. Does he got you? <laughs> what you got there, young man? I don't know. All right. Who taught you how to fish? Must have been Grandpa. What's going on there, Bubba? Ooh, there I think is. you got a fish. That ain't even a, a big one. It's just a good one. That's actually an eating fish. Better for you. Pull nice and hard. There he is. First one. Tough. There you go. <laughs> Turkey and fish, a surf and turf. Actually, I don't know if that's turf, but a bird and a batter fry? Yep. <laughs> ah. There he is. Nice male. That's exactly what you want to eat right there. Four or five pound cat. Slick and clean up out of Lake Michigan. Here. Nice job. Careful, Grab a hold of that. You got it. Squeeze it. Right here. You got him. All right, now don't drop that. That's lunch. Grandma said bring home a fish fry. That's a good start, isn't it? Yep. What do you think? I like it. This day is going pretty good for you. How's school so far? Good. I was explaining this is a different kind of school. This is a... Just all right, put him in a cooler. With our first fish in the box, we worked that hole a little longer and then decided to move down to the next one. That's one of the great things about this kind of fishing. You never set in too long. If things get quiet in one spot, you pull up the anchor and you just head down to the neck. And then, after getting our rods back out, it's, yeah, back to waiting. You guys look like you're watching a tennis match. I know. I, feel like it too. <laughs> I give the guys a little bit of a hard time about watching the rods, but the truth is, in this kind of fishing, the action does come pretty quick, and you really do have to pay attention. Got one? Yeah. Still no fish? No, no fish. Huh. We definitely didn't hook and land every fish that bit. But if you're one of those guys or gals that doesn't have a whole lot of patience, doesn't want to sit there all day waiting for that one bite, well then this is definitely your kind of fishing. Because it really is stick and move, stick and move until you finally hook one up. Some more catfish here. I'm gonna have to come back without them. Number one spot. Number. Oh! He jerked that big time, and he just nothing. I don't, I don't know, if gar or what's down there, but that was a good hit. Like I said, we definitely don't hook and land every fish. And there's some gar in this part of the river, and they're pretty good at stealing bait. Zero. Doesn't Zip. look good. Zilch. <laughs> Does not look like a fish fry. No. Ah, we will try again. And try again we did. And this time... Okay. And I got it. Fish on. Oh, big fish. Oh yeah, 20 pounder. Put her here. Here Kyle, hand me that rod you just put This in was definitely a big fish, the biggest fish of the day at least so far, and he was trying his level best to get up into that log jam, so I did the only thing I could think of to do. Big old dog. All right, come here, you wanna feel something? Yeah, I handed the pole to Kyle Jr. Might wanna grab the net so you can. Right here behind you. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think he's caught you. His head's as big as yours. 
Steady tension. Steady pressure. What's the matter? <laughs> a little help? Yeah. This can't end up. Lift. Over this way. Lift, 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 lift. Lift it. Pull, pull, pull. Come on, big dog. There. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think, Mr. Bill? Yeah, buddy. Well, that is... That's a heavy fish. That's as good as they get, buddy. Right there. Look at that. I don't mean to tell you, that is 20 plus pounds of catfish right there. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and open the bale, set that rod down, we'll get this hook out of it. That one gave me the first. All right, we're going to need a couple of pictures. Yep. What do you think, Kyle? I like it. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's a nice fish. That's an awesome fish, buddy. That's what we come for. All right, you ready to put her back? Yeah, yeah a little heavy, is it? <laughs> I promise you sure that's a 20 pounder. All right, let's put her back right here. No. Oh, no. No. Bye bye. There she Thanks goes. for coming out and playing our game. Them fish are way too big. You keep them small ones and eat them. That's a good team effort, man. Nice fish. It's a pretty good, good day, isn't it? Fish, mm -hmm. turkeys. That Bill, he's got it going on. He said, this is the spot. That was a big time catfish. Over 20 pounds and a real handful and that much current for young Kyle. Still, he got her done. We got him in the boat. Friends, we were actually hoping to have us a fish fry when this day was done, but that fish was obviously too big to be a keeper. We let that one go back and kept working. We were really hoping to catch some smaller fish, some catfish nugget sized critters before we were done. After that fish, we were all a little bit jumpy. We were still getting a few bites, but we needed to slow down again, give them a chance. I truly believe you'll hook a lot more if you give them a little bit of time to mouth the bait to work it some. It's like chew on it. Like an old man with a, you know, just with a tough. With no teeth. Steak. Yeah, you can just gum on it. Then sooner or later, you think it's time to swallow it. We sat there watching that rod for a little bit, but it was actually one of Bill's that went off next. The fish were biting. It was pretty tentative, but they were still biting. So I had high hopes that we'd get at least a couple more before this day was done. Thank you. And besides, Kyle Jr. had promised Tina a fish fry for the family, and our box was still just a tad light to make that happen. Fortunately, after moving to another hole, Bill started counting down, and believe it or not... There's one. What you got, Bill? A little fish. You got a little fish? A little one. You pulling hard, Bill? Or just, just... He's just sitting down on the bottom like they do. Uh-huh. You sure it's not like it? Oh, manhole cover, yeah, old boot. There he is up on top. Yeah. That's not a little fish, Bill. No, he ain't bad. Hit him, hit him, kick him. Yeah. Heard him burn him, catch him much. Nice fish. You got the net, buddy? All right. Nice fish, Bill. I don't think we got him yet, neither. <laughs> he saw that boat and said, I don't believe it. Look at there. Net down in the water. Down in the water. Lift up the net. There you go. There you go. What's the matter? You can't lift that fish? <laughs> Throw that yeah, one. There's a dandy. Another nice little toad. Yeah. We'll take that. Talking to you, Kyle. There. Ta da. All right. There. What's wrong with that one? Look here, smile. Yeah. 
four or five pounder. Kiss? Give him a big kiss, Kyle. Where? Right on Where? The, right on the lips. <laughs> he thought about it. I think he's <laughs> hey, nice yeah. job, man. Nothing wrong with that. It's not your first time, huh? <laughs> hey, we're catching fish. That's all that matters. Having fun. That was another great fish, and with it, our hopes for a fish fry were pretty much guaranteed. We decided to pack it in, head home, but I have to say we did stop one more time at a kind of a hard to fish hole. It's got a lot of structure, a lot of logs and stuff, but it always produces for us, and we always stop on the way back to the boat launch. In fact, we've come to call that hole the last chance. He's still there. Yeah. I just can't get him out of there. I see him. And just seconds after throwing our baits in, I had a fish hooked up that I couldn't get out of the lumber. Well, that one will have to wait for another yeah. day. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Hey, no problem, man. Sorry we didn't catch your tongue. But hey, we had you. a good time. Kyle and I appreciate it. Yeah, uh -huh. nice ones. Do it again. Yeah, just starting, so. Next couple weeks it'll be great and we'll, we'll catch 30 of them. There you are. Let's go find some, let's catch a lunch. Yeah, sounds good. Remember I said that Last Chance has a whole lot of structure, a lot of log jams? Yeah, we just couldn't get that big old catfish out of there. Still, we had a great day, one I'm sure that Kyle Jr. is going to remember for a long time to come. And it wasn't even noon yet. That kind of action and activity is just the type of day you want to take your young people on. And I truly hope you get out and take yours hunting or fishing. Anything in the out of doors is better than seeing them sitting in a couch playing with their thumbs, if you know what I mean. Hey, I hope we do see you out there. I hope you're having a great day just like we did. And if we do bump into you, well, you know we're going to stop and share that cup and a fire. And if I don't see you out there, friends, well, I promise I'll be right back here so we can share another adventure from my Wilderness Journal.